Hello everyone, and we're back with more Dangan Rampa Trigger Happy Snack Time. <laughs> Guess I'm feeling a little hungry. I better get something to eat before it's night time. I should go to the dining hall and get murdered, I guess. To be fair, I mean, it's already night time. It's what it's saying at the top left. Can he not read? <laughs> True! Jeez, Makoto, why don't you actually check these things? I mean, the super creepy moon is just right there. I don't know, I've got used to the moon. Yeah. He's, so... only cre he's only as creepy as Luna at this point. <laughs> I don't know, I still not- I'm not sure I approve of his rape face, but I guess I can deal with him. I just wanted to get something to eat. And now I'm about to get roped into something like this. Ah, bondage. That's fun. Actually, no, I guess I'm already roped in. Man, Makoto, you get captured fast. We, are, we just all wake up being roped in. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Makoto! Perfect timing! Huh? What's going on? I have a favor to ask. A favor? I have a bad feeling about this. Yeah. Thought about this favor? Hey, damn it. Come on, Makoto. You gotta be our witness. Witness? Oh, that sounds kinky. To what now? What? This guy's been talking shit about me since day one. Calling me a coward and shit like that. Wait, man. Y you are a coward! That's why you turn to violence to solve your problems! <laughs> Did he I say don't... that after he punched him uncon- after he punched I... you unconscious? I guess so! I guess Kiritaka was just like, you fucking coward! How dare you! That's why you can't do what society asks of you! Why you walk around dressed like that! <laughs> I mean, you both are dressed extremely silly. Yeah, I guess, I guess in Kyotaka's eyes, though, Mondo is wearing, like, a, an extremely slutty shirt. I don't know. <laughs> the fuck you say? You don't know shit. You hear me? You've already lost yourself, but you're such a coward you don't even realize it! I like Jeez. <laughs> you're really laying it on, aren't you? You're such a coward, you don't even realize it. So what? You're saying you're not a coward? You think you're tougher than me? I know I am! Okay, then let's slow down. Proof you got what I, I don't you got. I accept your challenge! It's time to do it. <laughs> so that's what's happening, Makoto. You gotta be our witness. You're gonna throw down? You're not gonna, like, start punching each other, are you? <laughs> uh, Makoto, you... that's kind of what it means. Yeah, that's what I assume they mean. Either that or strange gay sex. One of the two. Well, There's that sounds like what's going on. Oh, sorry. There's a bathhouse on the first floor of the dorm. Right? With a sauna inside? <laughs> guess, guess we're going the kinky route about solving out who's the best. <laughs> we both get a towel and rip each other till we are so red that we give up. Yeah. I see. I see. A simple endurance contest, is it? We're going to see who can stay in the sauna the longest, am I right? Honestly, now you both sound like cowards. <laughs> it's, it's kind of, yeah, that seems like a weird challenge. I don't know, I've never really tried staying in a sauna for forever. I've never been to a sauna, but... Yeah, you'd think they'd do something like a fist fight, or at least a physical test of strength. But no, we're just gonna go hang out in the sauna for a few hours. Goddamn straight. I thought it's it's nighttime. You're not allowed to be yeah. there. I I'd imagine not. Uh, are you really gonna go through with this? Shit, yeah. He'll be done in a matter of minutes anyway. People like him are without exception all talk. This is I awesome, mean, yeah. it's really weird. And how? 
How could he be done in a matter of minutes? You don't have to be a really weird person to be like, Well, I walked into the sauna. I'm done. I'm done. Yeah, I can't he's terrified of him. Yeah. His brother died in the sauna. <laughs> that would be horrible. <laughs> Bring it on. Hey, let's make things interesting. Wouldn't want to win without the challenge, right? See, now, now it's getting even kinkier. <laughs> yeah, interesting. You son of a bitch. You're gonna bet him with all our clothes on. Ridiculous. That's idiotic! Suicidal! What? I wanted you to strip naked. This is not <laughs> part of the plan. <laughs> exactly. This isn't kinky. What? What? You afraid? You're going to regret this. Shut up and let's do this. Also, it's kind of unfair being that this guy's already half naked by default. I know, seriously. Wait, yeah. this guy's not even super <laughs> naked. Yeah, wait, so Kitaka gets to take off his clothes, but the other guy doesn't. Also, I love how he just has a towel on his stupid hair. <laughs> what the fuck is this even? <laughs> this is the most epic strength test ever. Yeah, it sure is. Oh man, sometimes this game seems to think it's a comedy, <laughs> and then people die. It is a lot like Phoenix Wright in that way. It's, you know, <laughs> it's totally a comedy until people die. It's a and... comedy of Macbeth, I was. Yep. Yeah. Hey, Mondo! What? and mind your own business. I mean, look at you. Your face is all red. What are you, one of those goddamn hot spring monkeys? It just so happens, I was born with a red face. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I was born with a red face. How dare you judge me? <laughs> so jeez. You don't have to act all big, man. Act, you say? <laughs> I'm still plenty good to go. I'm so good. I could eat a steaming hot bowl of soup right now. Are they okay? I tried to push my concern aside. A few minutes passed. A few dozen minutes. Then an hour. Don't you think it's about time you gave up? Yeah, I I think. By now it would already be nighttime and we'd get in trouble, but you know, who needs to remember those rules, right? Everyone dies. They all yep. <laughs> You can't even hardly talk. Dumbass. Say whatever you want. I'm still totally good to go. In fact, I'm starting to feel uh, kinda cold. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. Also, I, I feel like this is the kind of thing... Can anyone actually explain what's going on here to me? This sounds so weird. I just... I've never had any experience with a sauna. I can't imagine it gets so hot that you can actually, like... Pass out after an hour, you know? Well, I mean, I guess it's based on how hot you make it in the sauna. Yeah, I guess... Oh, so I you're guess... not supposed to be in there for the rest, so... Yeah. Fair enough. It probably isn't good, no. Hey, uh, guys, I know you both want to prove how big of badasses you are, but don't you think you've done enough? Also, I gotta ask. Uh huh. Is Makoto just standing in the sauna also fully dressed and he doesn't even realize it? <laughs> He's like, I don't even want to prove how big badasses you are, but can we just like, stop? He's just standing there, like, I don't really mind. Yeah, I mean, I'm assuming he's standing outside and peeking in, but I don't know. I... <laughs> Otherwise, yeah, I guess he's just standing inside the sauna being like, well, whatever. <laughs> I just can't I'm so leave. average, I don't die of overheating. Yeah. So what average people do, right? Oh, well, here it is, nighttime. Okay. Hey, did you hear that? It's nighttime. How about we call it a tie? In a true competition, there's 
no such thing as a tie. <laughs> I there's probably like I I don't know. I'm pretty sure in sports there's actual ties. Not in Aren't, sports. There isn't. Oh. But I mean, it's it's um. There's always a tie, but there's always a tie break. Yeah. True. You win or you lose. That's the only thing that matters. We'd rather die than lose at this sauna competition. I like them. I like them too, it's just so silly. Oh. Jeez, no, that that's sounds a little... really kinky. <laughs> yeah. The gates of hell? That's not a good place to push someone. <laughs> you know, Makoto, you're right, that isn't a good place to push someone. You should be more considerate and not push people into the gates of hell. <laughs> What kind of statement is that? A Makoto statement. Yeah. But this isn't good, guys. Yeah, you hear him. Better call on you. Better call on back to your room. I let you know how it went in the morning. Then you can start spreading my my legend. Come tomorrow morning. You'll fall down in front of me, down on your knees. I'll show you where to do it. What? <laughs> Jeez, Kyotaka. I mean, I guess we were talking kinky, I just didn't realize it was going there. Big talk from someone whose face is about to explode. Right back at ya! Okay, well... Good night then. Hey, you can't leave. Fuck you, Makoto. <laughs> I know. We, <laughs> we have to you can't watch. Leave. <laughs> I want to see how this turns out. I want to see Mondo bending down in front of Kyotaka and all of the kinky stuff that happens. I'm just saying that if you're the judge of something, you're not allowed to leave. <laughs> yeah, you're really not. I mean. I don't know how they're going to prove who did it if, like, who won if the judge left. <laughs> but, uh, so if someone dies, you gotta be there to help them. You can't just be like, well, my time's over. Yeah, exactly. Well, well, I'm the sure... worst lifeguard ever. Sure is, but I'm sure to the death? No. Surely they won't go that far. That would be so surreal if that is the next death. We wake up and one of them is just dead. <laughs> it might have. Oh, man. It, I guess it technically could. I'd be really shocked, I'll be honest. Concern stayed with me as I slowly succumbed to sleep. Yay, more Monokuma theater. So what do you got now? A calendar. If fate does exist, does that mean your future is decided the moment you're born? If all your yesterdays pile up to create your tomorrow, is your future as final as your past? I just don't know. But you're not alive, you're a robot, Monokuma. He doesn't know, don't tell him. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny. We totally should just go up and be like, Hey, Monokuma, you're a robot. You don't have a soul. I said no destiny and no future and no past, so fuck me. Yeah, exactly. Good morning. No. No, I don't want to. <laughs> Morning, huh? I hope Mondo and Taka survived. Worried about the two of them, I hurried to the dining hall more quickly than usual, and when I entered... <laughs> huh. What are you talking about, bro? What are you talking about, bro? What the... Hey, Makoto! Thank you so much for acting as our witness yesterday. Huh? Are they friends now? 
They've been like this all morning. They're all buddy bunnies as soon as they walked in. It feels gross. Hey, don't judge them, Ashahina. They can be as buddy they buddies as they want. Because they had like the two manliest men in this school and they want each other. <laughs> yeah, probably so. Fierce girls. I know. Fierce great, more like. <laughs> I like you, Mondo. This almost feels like sexual harassment somehow. They can sexually oh, harass each other all they want. <laughs> what are you, a stupid feminist? It's sexual harassment. How hell? How she's dare these men be gay in front of me? She's sexually harassed by them not being interested in her. Yeah. But she's also sexually harassed by them being interested in her. Yep. Yeah, uh, like I said, feminism. Forget her, bro. A girl like her just doesn't get our manly bond. Friendship between men is stronger than blood. A woman could never understand. Ain't that right. What you just said? Bro, that was cool as shit. I should get a tattoo of it. <laughs> Fuck it. Okay, you guys decide to keep me on a little bit here. <laughs> I should get a tattoo of that thing you just said. Who says things like that? This, this is gonna become a close before host club. Oh man, I should do. I should just say that during our let's plays. I should just be like, man, Sapere, that thing you just said was cool as shit. I'm gonna get a tattoo of it. Without a doubt. No, bro, you mustn't. Your body is a temple given to you by your loving parents. So, um, who won the contest? Who gives a shit? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> yeah, don't ask stupid questions. What matters is that both of us took part in it together. That's completely different from what mm -hmm. you were saying last night. Friendship between men seems very simplistic. Nothing like what I'm used to with girls. Just Sakura, shut up. You don't have any friends that you don't punch to death. Hey, you doesn't punch anyone to death, just punch him to enlightenment. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, for real. I so see, this is why you don't leave if you hadn't <laughs> left. Yeah, we would know how they became so buddy-buddy. I think sex really did happen. Mon Either that or they beat up Monokuma together. <laughs> Maybe, that would be amazing. Either way, I want to see it. All throughout breakfast that morning, the room was dominated by Mondo and Taka's overpowering brotherhood. All in all, it was a pretty unfortunate experience. I don't know, I mean, if all of you guys were so close, you wouldn't kill each other. I know, exactly. We should all strive for such brotherhood. So what should I do today? Hmm? Who could that be? Wondering who would come to visit, I opened the door and someone forced their way in. Wait, that's why you need one of those. Oh, this is bad. Oh, no. Can I just leave? <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't leave right now. I need to talk to Toko. No, you don't, though. Leave. She'll kill you. I don't like her and I don't trust her. Oh, Toko, hi. Are you gonna kill me? Can I kill you? T Toko, what's the matter? What's your problem? Why are you so surprised? Am I really that uh, annoying? Yes, yes you are. <laughs> well, I already know I'm annoying. I came here knowing that, so that makes it uh, okay. No, it doesn't. <laughs> knowing you're a bitch doesn't mean it's okay that you're a bitch. No, you're not annoying. I just wondered what was going on. I have a f f favor to ask. I want to, you to g go somewhere with me, okay? And where is it you want to go? Well, well, the library. Huh? Are you looking for a book or something? Why don't you just ask Byakuya? He spends all his time in the library anyway. Did I say something wrong? You're not a b b blabbermouth, right? This h has to be a secret. I honestly have no idea what you're talking about, but if you want me to be quiet, I'll be quiet. <laughs> then let's go to the library! Okay, I got it, to the library. Jeez, why so pushy? I don't know. 
C quiet Be quiet when you g go in. Don't l let him see you. She actually was starting to get annoying. But I did what she said and gently crept into the library. Glad someone else finally... Glad someone in the game finally noticed that she's annoying. Wait, that wasn't... A lot of people have acknowledged it. True. But I was gonna say... I don't know, I find it suspicious that she would come to you being that... The only friend you had kinda died. Yeah... The, the only one who was particularly friendly towards us turned out to just be a backstabbing bitch, and she died. Unsurprisingly, Biakia was there by himself, absorbed in a book. I mean, yeah, he's been here for a while. What? She's a shipper! <laughs> she is! Maybe I don't hate her so much if she's trying to get me and Byakuya together. You know, that's actually a pretty good response, Makoto. That's kind of crazy. Alright, hey Byakuya, you want to hang out? You want to make love? There's someone. There's someone watching us. It'll be especially kinky. He seems to be really focused on that book. It doesn't seem like the best time to talk to him. Hey, you. What are you doing back here? I hate even having to look at you. Oh, I come on, Viaka. <laughs> I can stay out of your eyesight. Yeah, just talk to us, hang out with us, come on, we love you. Ah, so you noticed me, huh? Of course, now hurry up and leave. And take her with you. Hey, um, Biakia? Remember how you said, don't be a woman who dominates weak men? Be a woman dominated by strong... A strong... What? When did okay. he say that? I don't know! Apparently he just had this conversation with Toko in private. <laughs> yeah, that shows she's completely insane. I guess she is, because he never said that according to him. <laughs> I never said that. Well, actually, I just thought it sounded like something you might say. Oh. Uh, That's not the same as him saying it. That doesn't really sound like something he would say, per se. Get out. <laughs> I love you, Bianca. Get out. Hey, go take a bath. You smell. Don't make me repeat myself. Don't make me say it again. Go now before your stench latches onto the entire room. Uh, okay. She's gonna kill him, isn't she? Maybe. He really dig into us there. Maybe he's in a bad mood. She seems super depressed. Did he really upset her that much? Piakia, to go that far. He must really be concerned about me. Um, no. Um, <laughs> I don't think that's what he was saying at all. There's only room, in this girl, there's only room for one person who is strangely obsessed with a person that hates them. And it's Ex us, not you. E exactly. She's we Toko. We already his dog. You can go away. Yeah, we don't... D D Biakia doesn't need another pet. Huh? He told me to, to take a bath and everything. He must really care about my well-being. I mean, How that's not usually... Huh? How does she keep getting more creepy? I don't get it. I don't know. I actually think I preferred when she was a really annoying bitch. <laughs> I've never, I've never ever thought like, oh man, this person told me I smell. They must care about me. No, <laughs> it, it's, it's generally not what that means. Hey, Makoto, what do you think? Think about what? Do you think the Biaki and I would be good, good together? No. Um, well, now, I don't really know. Maybe. That's t true. There's really n no way to know. 
But the distance between uh, us doesn't change our love. Because as soon as you realize your feelings, the love is born. That's how it works. You know, you must be a really crappy love author if that's what you believe. Freaking... Bam, and she probably wrote Fifty Shades of Love. Oh, I thought you were going to say she probably wrote the Twilight books. Fifty Shades of Twilight. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, Fifty Shades of Sparkling Vampires. There might come a day when you understand. Maybe someday. Well, bye. That one of you two is dead. I don't know which one. <laughs> ah, young love. Would have ever guessed you would go for someone like him. But eager passion can also be scary. Sometimes that leads people off in the wrong direction. Um. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for being a spoiler, um, Monokuma. I know. What the fuck is the point in that? If you didn't see that this was obviously going to go somewhere bad, then that was just really pointless. All of a sudden, I feel exhausted. Maybe I'll head back to my room for now. Then happy music. <laughs> yeah, and then just super happy music. Still some time left in the day. What to do? Oh, we I'm have another free time. Let's head back to the room and then get free time. <laughs> I know. Why not? We've all we we're having a lot of free time lately. Let's see. So, is there anyone in particular you think we should hang out with? Okay, I would say to buy Kaiba, but he won't hang out with us. Yeah. Because well, he's we fucking him. dead. We could hang out with Kyoto. Kyoto? Kyoto is cool, but what is there to learn about it? I, I don't know. I mean, there seems to be a lot to learn about here, her, I just don't know how much we're going to learn about her. Because she seems to have a really mysterious backstory, and I feel like it might be important to the game. So, I don't know. Go ahead, then. Alright. No, you I mean, wonder the... would it be True. Oh, well, apparently he won't talk to her anyways. <laughs> yeah, we could go try and find Mondo. He's probably still Maybe being buddy-buddy yeah, buddy with Kitaka. Yeah. <laughs> we to hang out with two at the same time. Giggity. Sounds but pretty Wait, now I don't know if we don't... Don't, don't we feel kind of a little bit um, betrayed? Why? Because of the fact that now Mondo's gonna ride with him instead of us. <laughs> hey, I mean, maybe it's a big motorcycle. Maybe there's, there's enough room for the three of us. I uh, so I've just realized that... Remember mm. we talked a lot about those windows? And then I assumed at some point they are not windows, they are just, um... Like, a wall painting, but they're not, mm -hmm. because you can see it change at, at the corner, if you turn the camera. Yeah, you can. I noticed so, so, that. So they are windows. This makes even less <laughs> sense now. Yeah, I don't really understand. Maybe later on they'll explain it better. Like, there has to be some reason for that. Otherwise, it's just weird. Because you'd think they just put a wall there. I don't think they've ever explained it. Yeah, fair enough. Hey, Mondo. Yo. Hey, Makoto. What's up? Hmm, should I hang out with Mondo for a while? Yeah. That's true. You kind of really know that. You ain't afraid of me or wanting to hang out. Well, whatever. You wanna go get something to drink? Sure. She ain't a poor guy. Mondo and I went to the dining hall and had some tea. You were in the dining hall. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Seriously. Mondo and I grew a little closer today. Yeah, we're gonna give him a present. Let's see. I don't even want water. Seems like the kind of guy who might like a uh, overflowing lunchbox. What do you think? Or wait, no, he liked. No, he didn't. Did he like the perfume? I don't think he cared that much about it. G sick. Emperor's thong. Water lover. No. Layering shoes. No. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna try giving him food. Give him he seems like the kind of guy who would appreciate food. Huh? I can have this? Thanks, man. 
Does that mean he liked it? Well, if he ate it, then I'm... Uh, yeah, that's really, it's, that's really frustrating with the figuring out if people like it, because I, I guess that means he did like it. I mean, no, I guess that means he was ifish, because, you know, Makoto reacts well, but I, I don't know. It's really weird. Stupid gift system. Ah, damn it. Busted. Damn it, busted son of a bitch. <laughs> okay, what's wrong? Why are you so mad? Why am I mad? Why am I mad? Can't you see why I'm mad? No. I need to get out of here. I need to get out in one wide. Shit. I'm so pissed off right now. Shit. Uh, I know how you feel, but just don't do anything crazy, okay? Hey, how about we have a one-on-one? One-on-one? -on -one? No. Relax. It's just a bare knuckle brawl. No worms. What you say? <laughs> Wait, you gonna fight us, but you didn't fight the other kid? What the fuck is that? I know! You're, you're fighting the tiny, like, very super average kid, but you won't have a fight with Kyotaka. Him, you're like, oh, we'll just have a... I think, I, I swear, Mondo like, hates us. I swear, he, he's actually just, like, a fake. <laughs> he's probably... totally playing the role. That's why he doesn't fight anyone who could actually fight. Yeah. What? what? Didn't you hear me? A bare knuckle brawl. Bare knuckle brawl. Uh, I'd better come up with something fast. When he says a bare knuckle brawl, I think he must mean... A hand to hand, obviously. <laughs> bare knuckle ball. <laughs> a hand to hand fight? Hey, yeah, uh, hand to hand, knuckle to knuckle. I mean, that one wasn't even difficult. That was freaking obvious. Uh, hold on, friends can't fight each other. But that's the only way I can burn off all this energy. Really? But I'm... Only way. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Mondo. I'm sure a tough biker guy like you can think of a few other ways. I mean, I've never even been in a fight before. Oh, I know. Why don't you go ask Sakura? What? I mean, you can spar with her, right? You don't have to actually fight, but just train. Damn you. Don't be a fucking idiot. I can't hit a girl. She doesn't even look like a girl. <laughs> I know. And, and she's a girl, right? I learned my honor. My mom would kill me. Piece of shit. I'm serious. I can't hit girls. It's not like I'm scared of her or anything. You bastard. <laughs> okay, okay. You don't have to shout. Shouting is in my blood ass. <laughs> When I get stressed out, I yell. Shit. <laughs> Jeez. Freaking Mondo going blue really? in the face. <laughs> you got problems. I like you, but you got problems, bro. He sure does have problems. Sounds like he must be really stressed out. It's just a nervous habit. What the, what's the big deal? Other than the fact that it makes it hard to ask girls out. <laughs> Wait, so you go up to girls and you get nervous and you start yelling at them? <laughs> Piece of shit, will you please go on a date with me, you fucking bastard? <laughs> that would be amazing. <laughs> I get all nervous and I start yelling, so I always get rejected. I mean, I'm not surprised, yeah. And thanks to that, I'm on a 10 game losing streak right now, it really sucks. 10 games? That's pretty bad. Get, what? Ten what are we talking about? I don't, I don't even know, know anymore. <laughs> Gah, shit. And I'd forgotten about that too. Thanks for reminding me, checkass. You're welcome. How are you gonna make it up for me? <laughs> shit stink. <laughs> Jeez, what? I, I really, at this point, I just gotta imagine that Makoto just, like, really enjoys being insulted. I imagine so, considering we seem to hang out with a lot of people that love to hate our guts. Uh, now I'm getting all depressed. I'm out of here. Shoulders slumped, Mondo trudged away. I guess I kind of messed that up. But I did get to see a side of Mondo I had no idea existed. It was almost kind of cute. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, you got mental problems too. I think so. He'd murder me if he heard me say that, though. 
Makoto. 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 Totally not crazy. Mondo's report card has been updated. Oh, we unlocked the skill Downshift. Finally, a new skill. Yourself a pat on the back. You earned it. After we were done, I decided to head back to my room for a while. And let me guess, more free time. Oh wait, no. it's night time, so probably not. Yeah. Oh well. <laughs> I... Yeah. I think, um... I think that's a good place to end it off, though. Thank you all for watching. Piece of shit.